the Pi wallet will be generated by all pioneers. But the thing is this, if you make a mistake, it will take you almost forever to create a new one. So stay tuned to this video to the end and you'll find out how to actually create your own Pi wallet without errors. Follow the instructions as you see it on the screen and you will get it. Before I continue in this video, I would like to clear some doubts. A lot of people have sent me messages saying that there are no wallets existing. I would like to correct that. Yes, there are wallets existing because wallets were released to nodes and super nodes, but not to all pioneers. Now, on the node application, that is where you find the wallet as you can see on your screen, while on the mobile app, there is no wallet yet. This will be released to all pioneers starting from 31st of March 2021. Now let's take a look at how to actually create a wallet. Follow the instructions as you see it on the screen and try not to make mistakes. Now you click on the menu, then you scroll down to wallet. On the next screen, you will see where it says generate your wallet get ready to save the paraphrase that comes out you click on generate wallet and this takes you to the next screen where you would actually see your paraphrase step 3 copy your paraphrase and save the paraphrase when you have successfully done that you go ahead to confirm save step 4 this brings you to your wallet address page. The address you see there is simply the address you would need to receive Pi from anyone, which is popularly known as the public key. When you come down, you would see the private preferences. Now you have two options. The first option says searchable by username. If you select the searchable by username, which is highly recommended, it simply means that a party A needs to send you Pi the party might really not need to impute your public key but simply search for your username for instance my username is bukasi b-u-k-a-s-i so you simply search at bukasi and my wallet address would uh, populate this, this square and that's it why the second option says not searchable that's it so once you have done that you click on continue remember the pie you are seeing is simply for test purposes it cannot be transferred to your actual pie or added to your actual pie in the next video i'm going to release after this i'm going to show you how to mine faster regardless of how many people you have in your team now for you to be part of this simply subscribe and click on the bell so that you get notified as soon as we release the video now the test wallet you see here is just for testing purposes there are two options you see and those options as you can see on the screen is one of them is the settings and the other is history So if we go ahead and click on settings, it takes us to the wallet settings where there's a new function that could either show or hide your passphrase, which is actually your secret key. So, but if you click on history, it gives you the transactional history, the payment history. For me, I just have the payment history, just one payment history, because that's when I created my wallet, as you can see. Now the receive takes you back to where you generated your public key remember the public key is what you would the key you actually require to use to receive pi from anyone and then send button actually that's where you do your transaction when you click on that you could now key in the recipient's public key at the first column the amount that is required and the fee the minimum fee is 0 0.01 you key it in and you click on send and it goes on a lot of us have tested this 
in some couple of uh, months now we've been testing this i'm talking about the nodes and the super nodes we've been testing this and going through it reporting back to the core team and with our feedback to them they've made tremendous improvements they've changed how the ui ui looks for the wallet they've made it simple this way initially when you click back to the app and you want to go back to the wallet you need to start all over to insert the secret key again but we reported that and they've changed it uh, when you click out of the wallet and you are going back into the wallet you do not necessarily need to key in the secret key anymore it just automatically opens up unless you close the entire app or you log out from the entire app that's when you require it again thanks for watching this short clip on the update of how to create your own wallet until we see in the next video keep mining